Hey YouTube, today is Friday, May 20th. I have a new doctor appointment with a new dermatologist. This has been recommended by my father. She's a bit more thorough than the one we were seeing in the past and I'm doing a full body scan today. So I will keep you posted. And I just left the dermatologist uh, doctor. I always believe in being authentic and vulnerable. And if I talk about stuff at the moment, I mean, you'll know exactly how I've reacted to it. I do want to give God glory and I want him to be with me and see me through this, but I am a little bit of upset about some of the things that she did tell me. So if I do cry, I, I, I will, I'll be better after I've talked about it. So. With that said, um, I am going to go ahead and put my makeup on while I talk uh, because I do have some shopping I need to do. And when you go to a dermatologist, you have to go in there barefaced. Um, let me let me put my, do my face here. So she took off a spot right here. You can see I'm wearing a band aid. You know what I can't do I can't do I can't do the makeup I'm just gonna tell you what's happening um, I'll do the makeup afterwards because I can't see through my phone um, so this has been a spot that's been on my nose for almost three years um, I think I've even talked about it my dermatologist has never done anything about it but this one did she believes it could be basal so she removed it and she's gonna send it in for a biopsy and if it is then she'll do Mohs surgery on it. If it's just a surface, um, if it just comes back as a surface wart or whatever, I won't have to go back. Um, I've always thought it was from my glasses. That's not my biggest concern. Everything else she was fine with. She does want me to go ahead and use the Fluorosil Calcipitrine Cream that I have twice a day for a week on this spot, which she believes is uh, more of the actinic ketosis. When she was examining me up here, she diagnosed me with um, alpecia, which is a condition where you have hair loss. And I have spoke about this many times about the reason why I got my eyebrows microbladed is because I was losing all my eyebrows. I've, I'm losing eyelashes as well. And now apparently I have a condition where I have lost a lot of the hair along my forehead line. It's frontal. I don't know. I'll put it, I'll put it here. Um, she did prescribe me a steroid cream that I can put on twice a day that will prevent more hair loss, but it won't help me grow back what I've already had. Um, if you saw my video where I was putting my makeup on and I was not in a good headspace, the most recent video I made, the get ready with me, I talked about something my husband had said to me and it all stemmed from me thinking something's up here with, something's going on with my hair receding now I know what it is. So, and if you know me, you know me, my hair is my everything. So, even the thought of losing my hair really upsets me. So, okay. I have some shopping to do. It's um, my oldest and my youngest birthday on Sunday. Uh, John and Ma Michael both have the same birthday. They're five years apart, but they do have the same birthday. And we are actually surprising my oldest tomorrow, tonight. Yeah, <laughs> surprising them tonight. So I have some shopping I have to do and um, I'll end this vlog on a happy note in a bit. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I decided to have a positive attitude. I just finished shopping. I am now parked outside of Kohl's. <laughs> and I found 
so story about my two boys. They fight over ties all the time. So my oldest seems to think that he's the one that owns all the ties and his brothers have stolen his through the years as they got older. What he doesn't remember is I'm the one that purchases all the ties. But needless to say, at my father-in-law's funeral in February, they were all fussing. Um, so I ended up buying them each tie for the funeral. And there's still been an ongoing argument about the ties. So I thought for the birthday, I would get them each a tie. <laughs> so I got this one for Michael. I think he'll like it. And I got this one for John. So anyway, and then of course the lady's like, you're only a dollar away from getting Kohl's cash. So do you want to like buy something? So this was in near the checkout and Ellie loves elephants. <laughs> I got her an elephant. Oh, it's cute. And she's coming tonight, so I'll have a new toy for her. Anyway, that is it. I did say I would come back on a more positive note. And I'm going to end this video. And um, like always, I will document all the therapy that I need to be going through and I'll keep you up to date on whether or not this is skin cancer and how well the treatment goes. So this is so, you can see a tan line right here. So this has been my hair loss, almost an entire finger width. I have lost hair already all along my hairline. And I never in a million years would have asked a dermatologist about that. So, um, my eyelashes, I mean, I've talked about my eyelashes and eyebrows the past couple of years, how they're just like going away. That's the whole reason why I got them microbladed. I've tried to get eyelash extensions and they only last a week on me because they said my eyebrows are so sparse that there's nothing to extend. I mean, without mascara, I don't have many eyelashes. Honestly, the fiber mascara is what I like because it like adds a little bit of the lashes I already have. Okay, I'm not dwelling on the hair loss. God's got a plan. And uh, who knows, maybe there's somebody else out there that I can help or there's somebody out there that has experienced this and you can help me. So if you know anything more about it, please comment. All right, see you in the comments. Thanks for watching.